Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today is June 6th. This video is going to be shot in two parts. Today, I'm going to fill it, put in a full tomato and cucumber garden into this true drop system from Crescent Garden. It's a self-watering system. I'm going to show you a little bit about the product, talk to you about the plants that are going in, and come the end of July, I'm going to show you how well it does. And I'm, I'm putting this to the test. This is a self-contained watering system. Just some of the basic things that are on there. It has an easy to read dial so you know how much water is in the system. It's set up so that you can drain it. It has an overflow system so water doesn't build up inside there. So the setup is pretty simple. It's also double walled, which is nice for insulation purposes and temperature regulation. I'm going to be putting in some of these basils into there because I do like basils in my cucumber and tomato salads. It's made out of a resin, it's food safe, it's extremely light. I can pick it up extremely easily. So you can move this around and you can see basically the re water reserve is down here. The water will um, fill this area here, move into the soil and it will you know, slowly wick up into all of the garden soil. I'm just gonna be putting in a peat based soil into here. Not gonna be putting in a lot of amendments for fertilizer. I'm gonna put in lime, I'm going to use um, Job's Organic Fertilizer right into the fill area here. So when I fill this with water, it's all going to, also going to have my um, soluble liquid fertilizer mixed into there too. So the system should take care of everything. And this planting space is 19.5 gallons of planting space. And usually from, if you've watched my videos, I put a tomato in a five gallon container, two peppers into a five gallon container, a cucumber into a five gallon container. So this is really about four five gallon containers worth of planting soil. So I think that this will work out really well. The bonus with this is once it's filled, even at full growth, I should only have to fill this every two weeks when the plants are at full capacity, which gives me an option that I don't have a lot of times in the summer, and that's to go on vacation because in the five gallon containers, I'm filling them one or two times a day when the temperatures get up to 100 degrees. So that's the basic container. I like it. I think it's going to work. Let me get to filling it and planting and I'll show you how that looks and then come back at the end of July we'll see how well that it does. The best way to fill the reservoir when you start is to fill it just like this. Make sure you take the valve off underneath for the uh, overflow area so that if it rains water that fills up in there will drain out the bottom so don't forget to take that cap off and then you just continue to fill it until the little marker will show one and then two more blue uh, teardrops will come up or water drops will come up showing you that it's full. After that, I'll add in my Joe's Organic Fertilizer to the number of gallons that are in here, and that will set up the feeding for the container. And then, of course, the dirt mixed in with some lime will go So here are four plants that normally would have each gone into their own five-gallon container, and I put them into the Crescent Garden True Drop System. There's 19.5 gallons worth of growing space in there. I'm growing a Husky Cherry Red by Bonnie. It's a hybrid, a great use of a hybrid. That plant will get three to four feet tall and keep producing sweet cherry tomatoes through the year, a mammoth jalapeno, from Bonnie. I'm also going to use that plant to spice up the cucumber tomato salad, but also I like stuffing peppers with a panko and cheese breadcrumb mix, so I want that pepper plant in there. And then that's the new Big Dwarf. It's a determinate variety tomato that will get about two feet tall, and it's going to produce 12 to 16 ounce tomatoes, and that is a bush champion cucumber, and then I also put in some of my onions that I had growing in a flat. So this should work for my cucumber tomato salad. We'll see how it does. What, today's the sixth, so about six weeks from now, I'll finish the rest of this video and show you how everything grew. Real quick, I just want to show you the second water drop has come up. So as soon as I fill up the rest of it, it'll be three water drops come up, and that's how you can easily tell how much water is in the uh, true drop system. I'm also, go again, going to be putting in water-soluble fertilizer from Job's into the system, so I don't even have to fertilize this. Oh, and another tip, sorry little out of order, is when I put in the first bag of soil into here, you saw how water was down in the bottom in that cone. Make sure you take your hand and you press the soil into there, because if not, it's going to float on top, and as it absorbs water and drops down, you're going to get a dent in here. So just push it down a little bit and fill up that space. All right, I'll see you in uh, six weeks. So here's the container, three weeks, four days later since I planted it, and it's doing extremely well, except for rain, and at initial watering, I haven't put any water into this container and everything is doing really, really, really well. There's still two blue water drops showing right there. There's a lot of water left in the reserve or in the reservoir. 
and in about three weeks I'll finish out the video and hopefully I have a tomato and cucumber salad uh, ready to show off. July 17th, just want to give you an update on the container. We're almost six weeks in. I have not had to put any water in here since I set this up in the beginning of the video. It's, it's growing extremely well. Everything is green. Everything is growing. The tomatoes are starting, the cherry tomatoes. I have jalapenos back there. They're doing very well. The bigger tomatoes are in the back and I've already picked this cucumber today. So I have to actually take a couple more cucumbers out of here. So hopefully in the next two weeks I'll have new cucumbers. The tomatoes will be red and I will be able to make my cucumber tomato salad. Again, I haven't put a single drop of water in here since I set up the container. Well, it's August 6th. These plants have been growing in the Crescent Garden True Drop system for 60 days. I have not had to water this at all, period. When it rains, of course, it gets water. And I did give it two supplemental feedings um, because I've been harvesting lots of cucumbers out of there and I just wanted to keep everything fed well. You can see that it's down to one drop. It's used two of them. I'll probably fill this this week back up to uh, three drops showing. But this is success. I wanted to grow a tomato, cucumber, jalapeno, basil, <laughs> onion salad garden in one container that's a self-watering system and you know this is perfection. I've had to battle um, actually chipmunks and squirrels from stealing my food but you can see the success. There it is my salad. I've also went on vacation and I left could leave these plants go by themselves. I had no worries about watering and the temperatures here have gotten up into the 95 or 100 degrees. I've even put up a shade tent for the rest of my container plants. But again the Crescent Garden True Drop system is extremely effective at watering your container plants, in this case garden vegetables, from the bottom and, and you really don't have to do much maintenance at all. Please check out my blog at www.therestofgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.